In this video, we'll see how you can keep a collection that's been generated from an API up to date when there are changes to the API. So to start with, I'm going to create a new API and give it a name. So in that case, I'm going to call it cars and I'll continue without a repository. If I had my API definition living in GitHub, GitLab or another repo, I could sync it and keep it up to date that way. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to import a file from my local computer. So I'll go ahead select my cars.yaml file and import it. So this is a simple API definition with just a single endpoint slash cars that returns a list of cars. So first thing to do is to generate a new collection. So I'll go back to the API overview here on the left hand side and click collection. So I'll go back to the API overview on the left hand side and click the plus next to collection and select generate from definition. Let's give it a name. I'll call it cars documentation and make sure that the suggest updates to collection is ticked. Let's click generate collection. And this creates a new collection with the single endpoint that comes from your API definition. Now let's make changes to the API definition. So here I'm going to go ahead and add a new path. And that path is going to be uh, slash car slash car ID and return um, a single car based on the ID. So you can see here on the left hand side, I've got this new endpoint. And you can also see in the sidebar, I've got this new icon next to the collection that says there are updates available. So there's two ways to push these updates to the collection. The first one is to click on there and next to the collection name at the top, click this icon. The other one is to go back to the API overview and then next to the collection here to click the same icon that updates the collection. So let's click this one. And from there, we can review the update. So we can see here, there's a new request, read a, read a car. Um, and we can see there's uh, headers, variables, examples, and we can push this update to the collection. So straight away here in my collection, I can see there's now the read a car endpoint has been added. And that's to push your update. So it works both ways. Now I could go ahead and remove that endpoint. So I'll go back to my API definition um, and remove that endpoint that I've just added, save. And now I can um, go back to my uh, collection see the changes that are happening and I can see there's a remove request now. So I'll take the request that needs to be removed, click update collection, and I can see the endpoint has now disappeared from the, from the collection. So there you go. This is how you keep a collection in sync with an API definition that you have in Postman.